What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about an extremely dark deleted scene from 2016 Shin Godzilla. I've already talked about the movie and other entries in the series before on this channel before in the past, but this particular scene happens to have been cut from the final release and I honestly think it would have made for one seriously cool point in the movie. Now, for those of you who may be unaware, Shin Godzilla introduced the concept of a gigantic radioactive monster that would not just stop evolving and adapting once it became the more traditional looking Godzilla, but it was actually supposed to keep changing in order to combat man. And this deleted scene showcases a pretty gruesome way in which it was able to do that. So during this portion of the movie, several members of the Japanese government are out and about going over the devastation caused by Godzilla earlier in the film. This scene takes place at night and has a certain eerie ambiance that kind of feels like something from an older Jurassic Park movie, or really any more horror adjacent franchise than we've seen in a while from Godzilla. Out of nowhere, a large chunk of bloody flesh drops from somewhere high and the man's flashlight reveals several pieces of Godzilla's body that have fallen off during its attack on the city. These large portions of bloody flesh aren't just normal blobs of torn meat though, because they come complete with large sets of eyes, several tiny teeth, and even give the appearance of being alive separate from their main body. You see, the idea that this movie was working with was that this massive radioactive creature was kind of a plague of sorts on Japan. Even these little portions of radiated flesh showcased a scary level of awareness, and my best guess is that the idea they wanted to communicate with the audience was that these little things could even grow into monsters themselves. Almost like, even if we blow up Godzilla, the little bits and pieces left over are still going to cause a lot of problems. Personally, I I love this idea and it's something that I really wish they left in the final cut of the film because they even go into extra detail about how the monster could definitely be hurt and we could probably kill it but the way in which we've gone about doing so wasn't really the right way. And these little Lovecraft looking monsters might arise from it because of that. There's even more extended information that was left out of the movie that would have revealed what the Godzilla first looked like when he was being created, which was apparently some sort of bio experiment gone wrong on a salamander or fish-like creature. It's supposed to be some sort of ancient species that was discovered in the Pacific before a scientist created something that he was doing research on from it. That's what created Shin Godzilla, and from what I can tell, the experiment got loose and became irradiated or something before growing into this massive problem for the government. But if I'm getting some of those details wrong in translation, I apologize. They come from a Japanese book that kind of goes over exactly what was happening in the film, and some of the concepts that didn't get used. This was a version of Godzilla that would continue to evolve and grow into something pretty monstrous by the time everything was said and done, and in my opinion, cutting this part of the film was a big mistake because of how cool it looks and for how it kind of elevates the material into a more horror-centered tone, even if it's only for a brief portion of the movie. Shin Godzilla is a film that I honestly think is one of the best of the series, and it's ideas like this that I always really enjoyed from the creature. When Godzilla goes dark, he actually actually goes for, you know, what he was originally meant to be. And this blob of flesh with jagged teeth and googly eyes, just the idea that there's a whole bunch of this stuff around the city that could be even more monstrous than sort of the creatures that were coming out of his tail at the end of the movie. I think that's awesome stuff. But guys, those are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. What do you think of this deleted scene? And would you like for it to be reinserted into the movie? Also, what do you think a sequel to Shin Godzilla would look like? Also, don't forget guys that leaving a like on the channel actually really helps out and if you're interested you can subscribe as well. I don't usually say stuff like that in these videos but throwing it out there just to help Dragon Curve grow a little. Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be I'd love to hear them in the comments down below.